Hello and welcome to a special episode of Planet Zoo where I recreate the Antwerp Zoo in the game but in today's episode I'll also be working on some signs uh, we've got the new update, the 1.5 update for Planet Zoo and that includes custom billboards so you can see me here working on a uh, sign for the koala I'm actually using um, a program called paint.net which is free to use and really great for this kind of stuff you can work in layers which is an absolute godsend uh, feature when working with graphic stuff like this graphical stuff like this I'm just using the basic or the main games um, assets like the thumbnail for the koala the map in the zoopedia and stuff like that and try to fit it in into the template that the Android zoo uses so you can see me doing some <laughs> Dutch and French and English there yeah, basically um, use the Planet Zoo images and then some things like the silhouette here of the koala. I just found that on internet, uh, on Google, just by typing in like something like a koala outline or something. And basically I make, uh, I'm making a couple of signs like this for my zoo, for my recreation of the Android Zoo. Um, but I'm only doing those animals that are in the game in Planet Zoo and are in um, the actual Antwerp Zoo. Like the mandrill for example, like we have the koala and the mandrill here. I'm just using or making some new layers to make everything line up. And then I can just delete the old layer uh, that uses the koala. <laughs> so now you can see that they are kind of overlapping, but don't worry, they are on separate layers so I don't mess anything up. So unfortunately my recording program doesn't really show anything uh, in terms of the tools I'm using, the layers I have. It just so, uh, shows the editing screen, the, the text I'm putting in there, selection boxes I'm making and, and stuff I paste in and stuff like that. But yeah, as I said before, uh, most of it is pretty straightforward, just copying stuff from in-game screenshots. Like the map from the Zoopedia, I just took a screenshot um, from the game's uh, Zoopedia for the Okapi and then copied and pasted it to fit in this template. Then had an outline for Okapi uh, on Google image search, put that in there, put in its height and width, and then what it ate, and uh, translated that into Dutch or French and English, and then basically how long they carry their babies and I did that for I think the koala, the mandrill, the red panda and the okapi and I think that's all these species I did. I did some other screens as well like um, the entrance of the zoo that you have the mosaics I will show them in a bit but yeah um, so that's not the only thing I did uh, this is not a tutorial <laughs> for those looking for this uh, for that kind of um, video there's I'm sure there's lots of good videos out there just type in something like paint.net tutorial or something but yeah let's have an actual look in the game now how all of this looks and we're now in the game and as you can see I added in those two um, mosaics and the signs above them that say uh, zoo in French and in Dutch so I added those uh, as a billboard I think it worked out fine I know there's a bit of an edge here, but I mean, from a distance, looks fine, and it's a, as if it's worn down or something. So yeah, that's the entrance uh, updated with the new billboards. Um, let me think. What else did I do with these billboards? I think if we go a bit faster over here, we have our map of the zoo and the. Uh, program of the day with all the like things um, that are planned for example the reef aquarium at 10 a.m. Uh, has a sunrise so basically the lights turn on uh, and then all the other activities we will go to the aquarium in a bit and then over here I only did the signs for which uh, for animals that are actually in the Antwerp Zoo and in the game as well. So we have the mandrill here. 
that's the sign you saw me make in the previous time lapse uh, in paint.net, a really good program. Then I also made this, I don't think I showed this, but it's basically a sign about uh, the colors of the face of the mandrel here and the uh, basically the front and the back side of that they use the same color as the Dutch and French flags so that's a sign in the actual Antwerp Zoo that I just copied over in paint.net and made it fit the size and stuff like that. So we have that here then we also have I think uh, I made a sign for the koalas over here Indeed, so basically the same template, but instead of the mandrel, it shows the koalas. Um, I think I also... Uh, let's not go there, because that's... <laughs> I haven't showed that, shown that, or, or uh, the Great Ape Valley is for next episode, but I kind of did this in between those two episodes. But I don't want to spoil it, so... Also made a sign for the Oka piece. Um, let me actually, so I think I also did the red panda over, all the way over here, yes, the red panda. Let me show you the other signs uh, as well, because I don't want to spoil it. Uh, so we have the Okapi info, so that's basically something I just copied over the Okapi. And that's it, I think. But yeah, this is for the red panda. Um, you also saw I had some bird palace things there. So if we actually go to our bird palace here, you can see I um, what they are expecting offspring. I thought I did my settings get reset. Uh, animal settings. I thought, yeah, what the hell? Why are they? Uh, is is that not a setting anymore? Is it guest settings? What the hell? Since when? I thought that um, like aging and birth that they wouldn't mate and stuff like that, but now they're expecting offspring. Okay, that's that's a bit weird. Uh, anyways, I updated um, these things here, these uh, mosaics on the front. So we have those actually on the front there now. They look quite good. I think I used the two meter screen. Yes, TV screen two meter. Then I put some, uh, I think, this is like a classic piece and I just turned it around if you, if you look, have a look here I just turned it around to have this nice little limestone uh, background and I put it over the black area on the screen and we have it like this so the front of the bird palace now actually looks quite accurate to what it is in the actual zoo of course um, Oh my god, they're all about to mate now. What's this? <laughs> they're all expecting offspring now, suddenly. That's so weird. Yeah, the... Don't think I changed anything. Oh yeah, I did, I did, I did. I almost forgot. I added in, like, these kind of curtains that they have to keep birds from actually escaping. So we have those curtains here. Um, still have to do this interior. Yeah, we have curtains. Because apparently they have recently turned up or let in some natural light into this uh, area which caused the birds to visit their neighbors. And uh, I think they did this to keep them from actually escaping. Yeah, the bird palace has uh, gotten an update like that. Now let's go into another speed build time lapse thingy for the aquarium and let's uh, see how I did that. So because the new update allows us to import videos for the billboards, a lot of people have made aquariums and ponds and stuff like that. I was inspired by this and started looking on the internet if I could find any videos of the aquariums at the Antwerp Zoo that I could use. And to my surprise, I found usable footage for almost every aquarium they have. 
that triggered my inspiration and basically I decided to do the interior for the aquarium as episode 15 instead of the Great Ape Valley. Now as you can see on the map on screen right now, the aquarium is actually all the way in the southern corner of the zoo, so that's why I'm building this in a separate map and why I'll save this as a blueprint to use when I actually arrive at that area in my recreation. The history of this building is closely tied to the reptile house which sits above it. Around 1905 the zoo decided to build an aquarium and a reptile house. Architect Emil Thielen started working on a design for the building and he basically came up with a Greek temple on a rocky mountain. With the aquarium located behind the rocks and the reptile house housed in the Greek temple on top. In today's episode I'll only be tackling the interior of the aquarium so the reptile house on top and the rocky exterior are for another episode. Right now I'm practically done with the interior, I'm just finishing up, finishing up the roof uh, and fish, finishing up like the side walls and stuff like that. The aquarium actually connects to like a big hole where they have a pond with koi's but I'm not doing that right now, that will be for the episode where I actually tackle the uh, exterior of this building and the uh, reptile building and stuff like that but yeah it connects with these like three archways with the larger one in the middle and has like a little pond with koi and goldfish i think as well in a separate pond and now i'm adding in some lights some nice little blue lights because as you can see on the picture on screen right now the interior of this aquarium is actually entirely lit in this nice little blue light and i try to create that using those lights. And now I'm also putting in the billboards with the moving screens. Um, I'm putting in these plaster walls. I actually don't know why I did that because I think it was just to create like the divisions the actual aquarium has. Okay, I put in also some uh, like this stone piece just to have a connection between the wall and the billboard because it wasn't really connected to each other. Put in some glass to create an extra effect. This is all um, happening behind some kind of aquarium glass. Now on some screens it worked better than others because like some of the footage, footage I used was really zoomed in so you have these giant fish <laughs> swimming around. Others like I think this, that one just right there um, are zoomed out enough so it really looks uh, kind of realistic. Then, <laughs> then I have other problems with perspective and stuff like that. I mean, it isn't perfect, but I wanted to use the uh, actual footage of the aquariums at the Antwerp Zoo, and then you have to kind of make compromises because I could have easily used some stock footage of an aquarium with some reef fish in there or something, but I wanted to use the like original, genuine Antwerp aquarium footage I had and. I think that worked out really well. Um, then I had this larger, I think this is like 8 meters uh, wide or something. Uh, like the reef aquarium which I talked earlier about that they have at 10 a.m. like the sunrise and stuff like that. So yeah, that's just a still picture but I think it worked out really well. And if you are all the way at the back of the aquarium or at the entrance I should say, it really looks nice from a distance like seeing this large reef. Let's have an actual look at it in the game. See you there. And now we're here in our aquarium. Now um, I used, <laughs> actually <laughs> took a long time finding either photos or actual footage of uh, aquariums at the Antwerp Zoo. And as you can see, the footage I did find uh, was either really short or shot at a very close distance. Uh, which is why some fish may be way too big for how they actually are. So when there's actual people coming in here, <laughs> some fish will look humongous compared to people. For example, these, uh, I think these are, uh, let me actually get out the the sheet for uh, which has all the fishes on it. I think these are the paku, yeah, black paku. Okay, those are South American related to the piranha. We do have actual piranhas here. This one is actually quite this one this one is actually quite good I think. It's not too short, not too big, so the fishes are or the fish are in proportion and stuff like that. 
there we have a ton of these aquariums now of course I did not find every single aquarium didn't even find photos for this one so for now it's um, blank here might put in exhibits uh, something really exciting that is happening right now in the modding community is that uh, people like um, Lion Rider are, or Nicholas Lion Rider are uh, modding exhibits to basically turn them into aquariums. I think he already did like a clownfish and a axolotl. Um, currently replacing the terrapin, but I think he's planning on doing a standalone. Uh, now I don't know the details of the exhibit. I think they replace the semi aquatic one, but it would be great, of course, if we can have a standalone exhibit variant for aquariums like this um, of course some footage had the Antwerp Zoo logo on top of that and yeah kind of shows in some of them but we have the black tip uh, well, black tip reef shark here I think it's yeah the perspective didn't really work out on this one because you have the same arch three times here so but what I could do is turn this into an actual uh, habitat because yeah we do have sharks that might be it might be too small because I need to keep in mind I have to fit this in, in my, into my zoo this building is already quite large so might have to keep it at billboards so we have some small reef here I think this is like a Mediterranean exhibit with uh, like this kind of fish in there uh, this might actually be the same viewing thing, but zoomed out, because we do have the same like pots in here. But this is actually uh, too wide, so, or I mean too, like kind of these arches wide, this aquarium, so this is like one big aquarium. Of course this is zoomed in way too much, <laughs> so the fish that um, is swimming by here in a second, like this one is humongous if someone would stand here like this is way too big for which it actually is but yeah that's just due to the camera being zoomed in nothing I can do about that but here we have like uh, I think this might as well be Mediterranean I can actually check on my little cheat sheet here yeah Mediterranean I have this sea stars which I really like um, like on this on the glass here Oh, I didn't find one for this one and we have the big reef over here now because this is so big there's not a single video out there of the entire uh, aquarium I did find some videos like the, the zoo itself had a time-lapse um, I was speaking earlier about the like the, the, the sunset or sunrise thing they have at 10 a.m. there's a video of that but yeah just only like this this section of the aquarium which is a shame because I would have loved to have this big aquarium like move around and stuff like that yeah this 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 is their big reef aquarium I think it's actually the biggest reef aquarium in uh, Europe and they have to get like water from the North Sea <laughs> every week or something and <laughs> filter it and then put into their tanks I think this is like Malawi Lake simulation uh, aquarium over here. I think this one turned out really well uh, as well because it's quite a long video I think and you don't really notice the... oh yeah you do. This is another one of those zoomed in ones. Uh, this is just a picture. <laughs> this is I think one of those that uh, succeeded as well. I think this is like Indo-Pacific or something. Yeah. I think it's also one of the longer videos. Then we have our piranhas over here. Then this is like another uh, big aquarium like this is uh, with the sharks is like three archways large. This one is also three archways large and I think it's like uh, uh, simulating the Amazon River or something with these piranha like fish and then oh catfish and stuff like that yeah some catfish variants in there and then we have some more I think I think this is like combination of um, 
what is it, Mesoamerica and South America or something, or Mesoamerica, it was something weird. Southeast, yeah, that was it, Southeast Asia and Mesoamerica. So they have like three, two completely different regions in, in the same aquarium. This one turned out really well because like this is another one of those big aquariums with two archways wide. I can kind of see like the transition, like this piece of wood here connects to this larger branch. So uh, yeah, I think that worked out really well. Now I think if you actually go there, you can see <laughs> the connection. But yeah, it kind of works out that way. You have the, the, the what is it? Rays or how are they called in there? Now the, <laughs> this one is also two wide, um, two arches wide, and I think this is just the same aquarium I used twice because I couldn't find like the other side of this one. Yeah, this one has a weird like speeding up thing because it's from a, a video from the Antwerp Zoo, a commercial video. So yeah, they kind of randomly sped that up, and this is. <laughs> Maybe one of my favorite like ideas for an like, aquarium. It's not, it's just an image, but it's like a simulation of what a, a canal in Belgium would or a river in Belgium would look like, like a tire in there and a bicycle. So that's really accurate to what a river actually look like, like really polluted with random stuff like bikes and tires and bottles and stuff like that. So yeah, that's some Belgian vision there. Um, that's the aquarium in its entirety, but of course I added in some lights, as you saw in the speed build. These blue lights, and if we actually look at this at night, of course these screens on this side reflect the, the light from these uh, screens, but if you look at these screens, this looks amazing at night. Like, with the blue light, and oh my god, at the videos, yeah, this looks absolutely amazing. Like, just look at this. This is this is like an aquarium. If we wouldn't, if I wouldn't uh, have these, like, like, uh, if I had longer videos, this would look awesome. Yeah, just look at this one. You can see this is like a real aquarium here. Yeah, this is just awesome. Can't wait to put this into my zoo. Of course, this is right now in just a blank sandbox world because I haven't really. Uh, arrived at that point yet where we could put in the aquarium but building this right now I think is was really fun uh, took, a, took quite a while to find all the videos and images of the aquariums but yeah with the possibility of having exhibits uh, to do mods and stuff like that that will be that will make this like so awesome but anyways I have been talking for way too long if you enjoyed this video, it was a bit different than what I do normally. Uh, consider giving it a like, and if you want to see more, consider subscribing. See you next time. Bye!